We're driving to the bank. Adulting! And I asked <laughs> for some questions for us to do during this Vlogmas, Vlogmas, Vlogmas. And the first question, <laughs> it was saying how has COVID and coronavirus affected us? And I was about to say, not, not much, which sounds kind of out of touch because I know that people have lost loved ones and lost people or people have gotten sick or lost their jobs. It hasn't really affected you because you're a homebody. I don't leave the house. Exactly. <laughs> but no, um, I would say the biggest difference is just having to wear masks outside. Mm -hmm. I work from home. Um, my job is like 100% remote. It used to be, what, 80% remote? Yeah. It's gone going. through different phases. So another question was, what are some of Octo's hobbies? Because I got a lot of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they were they were wanting to know basically more about you. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well. What are some well, of your you see, love? I like to game, like like a majority of classy people. Mm. Uh, RuneScape shooters. Oh, he's super into RuneScape. Oh my goodness, I've been playing RuneScape since I was seven years old, <laughs> and I still play it to this day. <laughs> but I play a lot of RuneScape, uh, play a lot of shooters. I've recently been getting into chess. He loves chess. We have a lot of random hobbies. Like I like to play pool every now and then. Oh, he's really good at Bill pool. Billiards, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty decent at it too. And tell him about your black belts. Oh, I did martial arts when I was younger for a very long, like probably about 15 years on that. I did. And not like, not like the kid that's like, I have the power of God and anime on my side. Not like that. No, well, he, I do like, have he, that. <laughs> but he actually he actually used to teach martial arts as well. Yes. Like he was a martial arts instructor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In Taekwondo. But nowadays, should I t tell him about my job and what I'm what I'm working on now? A little bit, you know. Sure. Yeah, not not too many details just for privacy's sake. I'm working on uh, day trading right now. That's what I'm trying to do as a job. Um worked worked in the industry for or worked in a normal job for a while. Absolutely hated it. Yep. It was horrible. Why do you think that you hated it? Oh my goodness. Because I feel like that's relevant to like your personality, things that we've been talking about with just like ADHD or personality or jobs. Remember the video we did about oh, finding goodness. a job that I fits? Could, a whole video could be done on that alone. Um, if you want, I can do a, a separate video on that, maybe tomorrow or something. Yeah. Uh, but just like an overview. I don't want. It's not that I have. I don't. It's not. I don't have a problem with authority or anything. It's nothing yeah. like that. It's more like I don't want to have to work for somebody else yeah. my whole entire life. Yeah. I want to work for myself and I want to make my own money and uh, it not be dictated by the hours that I work. You yeah. know. I want to make money that's dictated by me. Yeah. And I would say too, he works best when he's able to choose his own schedule. You 100% work best. Yes, yes. When you're able to choose your own schedule. My anxiety is not going crazy when I'm by myself. When I'm by myself. Yes. So yeah, yeah. That, you, you had a lot of anxiety in dealing with customers and, and just and, people in general. Interpersonal yeah. relationships are a little bit difficult with me sometimes. Yep. Um, but you know, you make do with what you got in life. The yeah. hand you're dealt. So I noticed too um, how you do best just like with your own schedule as far as work is being able to choose your own hours by choice yes. and not because someone else made it. Yeah. So um, I guess that goes into the ADHD of, of yes. it, it, needing using, my time. And yeah, but also working your strengths. I would say a big strength, which is really good, is when you find something that you enjoy, you kind of hyper focus on it. Mm -hmm. So if you learn what your strengths are and you kind of lean into your hyper focus with your work, you're kind of set mm -hmm. for a while. Do and you well. can do pretty good, which is why you meet so many people. Like my boss is ADHD and he started my company and he started multiple companies and he's an entrepreneur and he's like self proclaimed. He's like, I have ADHD. My kids do too. You know, he's very open about it. Yeah. And so some of the best entrepreneurs have ADHD. And a lot of times they recognize they're really good big idea people and then they hire really good detail people to kind of sprinkle in the details and sprinkle in like the kind of more admin work is kind of what they do. That's what you're good at. You're really good at coming up with big ideas. You're horrible at executing the small little details, oh but you're goodness. amazing at big ideas. 
yeah. big idea things. And some, sometimes you hyper focus on the wrong things, like mm -hmm. RuneScape for six hours. You know? so you have to, yeah, so you have to be really careful about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight off. Yeah. See what another question was. That was a good one. Oh. I should have screenshot them. Connect network connectivity unavailable. Hey, no. Many of you might have noticed my hair is going uh going crazy. <laughs> I've grown it out recently. Just to see what it looks like. I've never had long hair in my entire life. So I wanted to see how my hair looks longer. And I'm not minding it. We're gonna go for a little bit longer and then we might cut it back down. You know? Well, you grew up in like a military household. Yeah. And then you also went to a military school. Yes, so not oh, really too much opportunity. that is fun to talk about. You don't have to give details about the school that you went to. Huh, they, they already know. Do they? Yeah, we're pretty sure we made videos on it. Oh, well, okay. So what was one of the worst things that you had to do at your military school? Like, what were some of the worst things, some of your worst memories from your military school? Worst memories? Oh my goodness. Uh, I mean, it, I went to military institution, yep. uh, military college. Yep. And a lot of screen, the first year, you're treated like dirt. I mean, you could probably imagine, you could probably imagine, what, or uh, use your imagination to figure out what school I went, already went to. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. Yeah. But you're treated like dirt the first year, yelled at constantly, drilled constantly, and, uh, a lot of PT, and I don't know if I have a specific worst memory. Yeah. I have a lot of good memories. Yeah. Uh, but also some eh memories. Mostly the yelling and mostly the PT. Yeah. Those were miserable points. But I don't know. Uh, what about how that dude made you eat tobacco? No, oh, he didn't make me eat it. He didn't make me eat it. Um, this he made me dip. This is the first time I. Yeah, I had had to had tobacco. I never smoked or anything. And dip, if, if anybody knows, is a lot more concentrated tobacco than a cigarette is. Way, 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 way bad. Way more concentrated. So generally, people, if if you're not used to nicotine, you'll throw up. And he basically made me put a dip in. And I sat there and stood up and at attention. And then I sat there and he's like, "How you feeling?" And I was like. And I felt like, I feel fine, I, I feel okay. And then about a minute later, I the whole room just started, I started getting really dizzy. Like the whole room started spinning and I'm like, what is going on? And I ran over to the sink, because we had a sink in our room and started like vomiting profusely. <laughs> it was it was not an enjoyable experience. I had someone, um, they were kind of asking some questions just because they're dealing with being separated from their significant other right now. And I was like, oh, I've been there. Oh yeah. Sometimes what we'd have to go what like five weeks without seeing each other. Oh yeah, yeah. They would, and I, I, I would get in trouble a lot at the Citadel. Oh, I said the name. Whatever. I, I would get in trouble a lot at my school. Yeah. Who, who cares? I, I would get in trouble a lot at my school. Because and, you have problems with authority. <laughs> no, no, that's not it. It was a punish. It, it was just hard to get rid of punishment for me. Yeah. Uh, and I'll go into that maybe another in another video. Yeah. But I would constantly get in trouble and I would constantly get more punishments. I'd constantly not be able to let leave during the weekend. Well, even if you could leave during the weekend, I thought you were only allowed to like leave, leave like three times a semester anyway. Uh or you had like limited you amount had, of time. You had limited leave to like go overnights and stuff like that. Overnights yes. and weekends, you had limited yes. number of those. Yes. But I was in trouble so much they would never approve my leave even if I got it. So it was, I always had to apply for it and I would always get shot down. And mm -hmm. every now and then they'd approve me and I'd be able to go hang out with, hang out with her, but. <laughs> and he could, and he would, and how many hours apart were we anyway? It was like a six hour drive. Oh yeah. It was it like was a six, it was a six hour drive to get from his school to come see me. Mm -hmm. And we only had a weekend. And so he'd have to come in late, late, late Friday. We'd have all of Saturday and then he'd have to leave like Sunday morning. Yeah to drive back. Yeah. And so it was it was it was hard. So how did we make do? How did we make do? With uh, our relationship. How did we keep Well, I mean we I talked we on just the phone. Along really well. We, we talked talk, on the phone yeah, we all, the all the time. We talked on the phone all the time. Uh, you know, we text a lot. Hold on, I'm like really bright here. We text a lot, but you're not a very good texter. I am not a good texter. He's not a good texter. So, so he's not like a, a person that will, well, you text me back immediately because mm -hmm. I'm your wife. But, so when we were, when we were just dating and honestly, the, okay, so we'll have to go into this sometime because our whole story is very interesting. Yeah. But basically, whenever we decided to date, 
we basically got engaged like right away because I didn't really want to mess around. I was kind of like, I'm done messing around with people. I want to be taken seriously in a relationship. And I kind of think you were there too. I kind of thought you were kind of like, I had just been in, I mean, I had been in two relationships prior that, that I were got long term. And they were long term. I got cheated yeah. on in both of them. Yeah. So I was just, I guess I was, I don't know. Yeah. I'm surprised you agreed to it, but. I'm surprised I agreed to it too. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. And it wasn't like I pressured you. I would just, yeah. I just told him, I said, I'm not into messing around and I want to be taken seriously in a relationship. Yeah, we gave it some time too, though. We, yeah. We gave it, yeah. Yeah. But we I mean, like we a, basically decided to get engaged, mm -hmm. like immediately whenever we started dating yeah so it was more like a courtship mm -hmm. than dating kind of yeah yeah a courtship except we made out a lot but mm. yes we did <laughs> <laughs> um texting was fine but you didn't like write poetry or like super romantic letters i did or once anything. and you hated it i was not good at poetry and I you're not tried. a good poet I love you so much, but that's Poetry's not your strength. subjective, okay? You don't know what a good poetry is if it hit you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. It was a bad poem. Uh, it was cool. sweet. I, I, you know, but <laughs> not you, did, you did send me, you did get me like gifts and you sent, and he sent me Valentine's <laughs> and he brought me Aww. roses Aww, and I'm you know, so all of, all of those sweet <laughs> things, but it's not like you, I'm not, I'm just saying you didn't like write me these like really romantic letters or anything. What? I tried. <laughs> See, that's why you didn't get any. The, tr the time I tried, you didn't like it. I've asked for some sense, and you're like, no, I'm good. I'm like, I'm like, be real nice. You didn't deserve it. You didn't. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my goodness. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, so um, to deal with separation anxiety, I mean, we dealt with that a lot. We were just smart about utilizing the time spent. We were smart about uh, phone calls, and we had video calls, and those were hard too because he shared a room with what five guys, four guys. It was me and three others. Yeah. So, so it was a room of four. He literally shared. A with a bunch of it other dudes. It was a dudes. small room. Small too. room with a bunch of other dudes. So like, yeah, we had FaceTime and stuff, but it was usually only like for 30 minutes at a time before someone would come back mm. and bug you. It was you. a bustling room. It was a very bustling room. Mm -hmm. Very busy room, lots of dude, dude bro energy. Dude bro energy. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was kind of how to deal with long distance relationships. We got um, another question, I think it was from Jess, and she said, I think if you could have an extinct animal, what would you have and why? Oh my goodness, that's actually, I like that question. You do? I do. I don't know very many extinct animals. Aren't there like types of pandas There's that are extinct? plenty of dinosaurs you can name. <laughs> but I don't know if I'd want a pet that, dinosaur. That was my go-to. Oh, like, also, my hair is crazy because I just took a mask off my face. Like as a so. pet? Like, is there any danger of it killing me? Uh, there's danger of lots of pets killing you. No, I mean, well, is this like a fantasy reality? Yes, yes. Okay, so fantasy. I, I could ride this, I could ride this dinosaur. I guess. Okay. I, I, I know what is going on with my hair? What? Jurassic Park, the new one, I, I like, I thought that was cool. What was the, what was that little dino's name? That was like. The one that was his best friend? Yeah, that was Green. like his boy or girl, it was a girl. That was cool. You want, so you want the dinosaur from Jurassic Park. That's my friend. That they, okay. That would be I cool. would want, I think there's like a bunch of, no, I want a dodo bird. That's what I want. Mm. I want a dodo bird. I don't know why. I oh. just, I like them. It's like, did you just go to um, What is your favorite anime and what's your favorite character in it? That's another hard one. See, they change by, by the week. I've yeah. watched hundreds of bands. I feel like Hunter Hunter. That's definitely your favorite. Is one of my favorites, yeah. I think. But I feel like it had the most impact on my interpretation of anime as an art form. Um, because of the emotional impact that it had on me. Mm -hmm. And I would say that Killua was my favorite character. Mm, okay. I don't know. I have, I have a ton. I have like... Depends on the genre too. Um, I like Hunter. I like Yu Hawk Show. Um, a lot of the ones I watched when I was younger, like. Mm -hmm. um, I also really like Naruto. Or I'm, I'm really enjoying Naruto. Naruto's another one. Mm -hmm. And jo like JoJo is fun, and I enjoy it, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's my favorite. Whereas yeah, like, here. there's parts of Naruto and there's parts of Hunter Hunter that like I want to rewatch. Like I'm yeah. in the middle of rewatching Hunter Hunter right now. That's fair. 
you know? And so for me, a lot of the time, for something to be my favorite, it has to have an emotional impact on me and then I have to want to rewatch it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely, no, I get you. Yeah, it's like my favorite movies, like there's movies that obviously have an impact on you. You know, like Schindler's List yeah. obviously has an impact on you, but do I want to rewatch it anytime soon? Yeah. No, so I would say even if it had an emotional impact on me and it made a difference and made a big change in my life, things that I'm not quite in the mood to show someone else wouldn't make my favorite list, even if they're really good. Hajime no Ippo, that's another one I really liked. Mm -hmm. uh, but who's your favorite character from each? Who's your, who's your favorite character from Hunter x Hunter? Uh, gone, for sure. <laughs> it's true, you are gone. <laughs> You're no, gone. I'm You're gone. literally. Yes, you are. You're gone. I'm not as pure as gone. <laughs> That's true. You're gone with like a little bit of. Me. Eh, maybe a little bit of Leorio sprinkled in. Maybe. I think it's like a little bit of Leorio because it's like a little bit of like. I think I'm a good mix between the two. And the only reason I say that is because I think that Leorio is like a good person, but I also think sometimes that he has some selfish, sassy man. lofty motives. Mm -hmm. Like Karapika is all about like revenge and family, and like dignity and honor. Yeah. And like, nah. I feel like I used to be more like that. Yeah, not now though. Yeah. And I feel like Killa was like. I don't know, Killa is hard to describe. He's a wild card. Yeah, Killa is a wild card. It's and unpredictable, it's fickle. Yeah, so I feel like you have the unpredictability of gone, and kind of more the innocence of your fun, and then I think that a little oh. bit of selfish motive like you. Leorio. You're definitely gone, like 100%. How? I don't know. You're, you're, you're innocent in that way. And you're also fun. <laughs> yeah. Go me! All the time. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like... How I am with... What's interesting is I feel like how I am with you a lot of the time is definitely. not necessarily how I am with other people. Yeah, no, I noticed that. I'm very serious with other people. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I think I'm going to have Octo edit this one, so let us know if you like his editing style. Yes. It's going to be the best edit video in let the world. Let us know more questions down below, and yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Yeah.